Another aspect of sandpaper performance is the laminate stock or the material that you're running through the machine if it's laminate or if it's a solid piece of wood. Laminated pieces together, making cutting boards, larger stock. The glue makes a big impact on performance with the abrasive. If those glue joints are run directly into one spot of the drum, that will load prematurely and burn the abrasive. That being said, angling your stock 15 to 20 degrees is going to dissipate the glue line over a larger area of the drum. It's not going to be running into the one spot of the drum, causing complications with burning. And that is just a good all-around common best practice is to angle the stock 15 to 20 degrees. It also helps dissipate the heat over a larger area of the drum. Now I understand that it's not always possible to angle the stock as you run it through the machine. Say on a, a 1632, if you've got something 32 inches wide that you've got to sand, your polyurethane based glues are going to be much more sander friendly and will not load into the abrasive and burn the abrasive as readily or easily as your standard yellow glues.